Hey there, everyone. My name is Nathan, and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a ZTE Maven that is originally from AT&T here in the US, so it's an Android phone made by ZTE. And this is a device that does have the Google account lock enabled because as we can see here, as we're going through the setup steps, we get to the screen that tells us that the device was reset and to continue, we have to sign in with the previous Google account that was on it. And that's basically what the Google lock consists of is now these days when you factory reset an Android device without first removing the Google account that's on it, it's going to ask you to log into that account again as a security measure after the reset has been performed. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information, or because they were sold the device by a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the lock was enabled. And then after the purchase, the buyer discovered the phone was locked. Obviously, they didn't have the login information. The seller had long since disappeared. And it's a very common scam that happens all the time these days in the buying and selling of used mobile devices. But we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to remove this specific lock from this specific model without having to have the login information for the previous Google account. And it's actually something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that we can actually do for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection and we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we're doing right here right now. So actually as I'm speaking our unlock program is just about finished running up. Our program that removes the Google lock for us so now we should just be able to restart the phone real quick and then we should be able to see that we can indeed get all the way through the setup steps without seeing the Google lock. Actually, let me just pop the battery out and then back in. We just want to make sure to actually be able to show all of the steps so that everyone can see that it is actually something that's doable. So you can see very clearly that the device was on the Google lock screen and then we just ran our program on it and now we're going to actually be able to get all the way through the steps. So we're not trying to secretly sign in with our own Google account or any other trickery here. Give it just a minute to finish booting up here. Okay, so we are back in the, the setup wizard now. So the initial setup steps that you go through after device has been factory reset, we're just gonna go through those here step by step. So at the welcome screen, starting with let's go, we're gonna skip the SIM card prompt because we don't need that. We are not going to copy any data. We're going to set it up as new. It's going to check for updates, but actually I'm going to see if I can skip that by turning off the Wi-Fi. There we go. Now the Wi-Fi is turned off, it's just going to prompt us for a name. We don't need that though, we're going to skip that. We also don't need to put a screen lock on it, so we're going to skip that step. Google services, we got agreed to those. We don't need to do AT&T setup and transfer, so we're just going to exit out of that. We don't need to give any consent to that, and there we go. We've got the home screen loading up here. We have access to all of the apps and settings and features, and this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. While we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the settings real quick just to show you exactly what we are working with so there's no confusion. So if we go under about phone, we can indeed see that we have the model number here, the Z835. So that's the specific ZTE model number of this device. And again, AT&T calls this a ZTE Maven. 
So if you have one of these same devices with the Google Lock enabled and need help removing it, we would love to help you out with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down at the bottom in the description. And we'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of the details there as well. Make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel while you're here, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will also enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like with this one. And y para todos los hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.